Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' SD. About to react to this video by Abbott and Preach's title, Andrew Tate and Conservatives Are Outraged Over Grand Theft Auto 6. I just reacted to this trailer on my page. <laughs> um, I don't understand what Andrew Tate would be upset about concerning this trailer. That's a bit confusing. Conservatives, sure. I could say a whole bunch of shit. But Andrew Tate? Very strange, but but sure, let's let's get the tea. Let's watch. Self-described alpha males are waging war against Grand Theft Auto 6 right now. Because right? in addition to all the hype after the trailer for GTA 6 broke records yesterday, it's been the talk of the internet. There have also been people throwing out criticism. And among those, you have the likes of the Tate brothers, and Elon Musk, with Tristan Tate saying, I'm not a fan of anyone under the age of 18, 21 maybe, playing video games where the goal is to shoot police officers. I just don't think I'm that's good for society. I feel like you could create a better objective with the game, you know? But isn't the game directed at people who are of age? Doesn't it say like uh, not for children or something or mature audiences only? 18 plus 21 plus, don't they give that disclaimer? That's like critiquing a rated R movie. If your child gets access to this shit, that's on you. You need to monitor your child better. Why are you letting your 10-year-old play Grand Theft Auto? That's, that's your decision to do that. You don't have to do that. So I don't agree with that. I don't think it's a good thing that people should go around and assassinate people. I don't think it's a good thing uh, that they, you don't talk about how critical. They are. be um, indoctrinated into thinking they are into war. We could do that to a lot of games. Like, we could we could play that shit for a lot of games. There's a lot of games that are not good and... Not not good, but it's not, it goes against whatever you should do. It's a game. This makes me think of all those video games that have guns and stuff like that. And they said that it would... It would lead to, like, gun violence. violence and all this other stuff when there's, like, zero evidence. And all the scientific studies that have come out so far say the opposite. This is the same stuff that you tried to use when they want to ban any games like Call of Duty and stuff because they said it kids. Now, apparently these games are somehow bad because they make you want to what? Do harm to police officers in real life? In the game, you end up murdering hookers and doing all kinds of other stuff. Does it make us also want to have violence against ladies too? Like, I don't know if these people really think about the stuff that they say when they say it. Because if it works for police officers, it works for anyone who's a victim in any video game. And the new Elon Musk also condemned that part, writing on Twitter that he tried playing GTA, but didn't like doing crime. GTA 5 required shooting police officers in the opening scene, just couldn't do it. And while those two weren't the first people to condemn or call out certain parts of the game, there was still no shortage of people mocking their responses on That's the best part, you can get hella stars. <laughs> and the shit, shit is hot, okay? The block is hot, and you running from, from the police. What? People saying of Tate, heartwarming, alleged sex traffickers draw the line at virtual violence against police. Commentators like Hassan Piker write, it's incredibly it. ironic that two brothers that quite literally tailored their entire online persona as though they are GTA side characters taking a stance against the game like their Hillary Rodham Clinton in 2000. <laughs> that is true. That's actually a good take from Mr. Han Hassan. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of Hassan, but shit, you gotta, you gotta that was point, they do it? come across I, like GTA gotta, side characters. really... Yeah, that's a good point. And of Musk, people saying, why would you buy a game called Grand Theft Auto and expect not to shoot a cop? I mean, the video since the trailer came out, everybody been losing their minds. I thought it was going to do well. I didn't know it was going to do 100 million on YouTube and it's still rising. It's like 120 it's now. Crazy. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. I've million never million. been the biggest Grand Theft Auto. I, I, I played, listen, are people going to hate me for it? It's okay. I played Grand Theft Auto 3 when it was in Liberty City. I played Grand Theft Auto 3 Vice City, okay? I was never into San Andreas and I stopped there. But a lot of the subsequent games looked amazing. I just changed genres. I did. What? Played all of games. Okay, yeah. I like the franchise. I think the franchise was amazing. I remember playing Grand Theft Auto 3 Liberty City, and one of the funnest things for me to do was picking up a hooker, going into a back alley, parking the car, and, and literally the car. I just see the car shake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always do that all the time, too. <laughs> Nothing else would happen, but for me, that was like such an immersion. It was so funny to me, okay? I think that's all of us. <clears throat> I think, I don't know, maybe not. A lot of people have never played Liberty City. To me, the game is just mindless entertainment. I, I hate people who look at media and they go like, well, if you play these games, you're going to want to do X afterwards. Like, where's the science to back this shit up? And if you guys are going down that road, just remember, once you start, you cannot stop. Well, why are we doing video games where you're the, not the cops and you have to be the robbers instead of you shoot? 
I think it'd be better to be the cops. You're doing the punch up, punch down bullshit with comedy. That's what you're doing. It's the same thing. But people call my comedians. Well, when you make jokes about X, it encourages your audience to hate these people. When you play video games that criminalize or target certain people, you're much more likely to. That's what they're doing. That's what they do. So that's why I don't like this kind of stuff. Also, it makes you seem kind of boring and lame. But really, like a video game like Grand Theft Auto, you guys are whining about that. Shut up. Mm-hmm. But that's just my opinion. Today's video brought to you by Raycon. Yeah, listen to it. I hope I don't have to talk about What do you think about this whole thing? <laughs> it's just people talk, trying to create content and they have to talk about it. Yeah, but as a Haitian, aren't you excited for your people to be represented in Vice City? I don't care. They were. Vice you look like you should be in the game. There was, there was, I look like I should be in the game. Yeah, you look like you should be one of the NPCs I have to kill before I get to, like, the guy who actually has the quest. I wouldn't mind. I remember he had some Vice City. I thought he was working. You should be so humble. humble. I'm not humble. I appreciate you. What do you want me to say? Yeah. I know. I would mind. At least you'd be in the video game. Ethiopians, yeah. we're never going to make it into San Andreas. That was my last shot. Yeah, no, you're more, you're more like the, uh... That's my last shot. What, GTA what? Say some shit, nigga. No, not, not even. Or Minnesota? <laughs> no, I GTA in Washington? I would Capital say, City? I wouldn't say well, I wouldn't say GTA. Uh, but she, you strike me more like a Assassin's Creed. Uh, like like that they're gonna do a version where it's in Egypt. And I do one that's in Ethiopia. Okay. You'd be there, definitely. I hope because it's from Ethiopia. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, okay. that's it. Yeah. That, I would really see you like something like that. You don't think that the black flag? Black flag was fire. P- Pirates of Black, it's like a... That is your, the last Assassin's Creed game that I really like. Exactly. That's a, like, that's Black Flag is like Pirates, and Facts. most of you are Pirates. Facts. Facts. <laughs> Don't say Facts. Facts. Don't say Facts. Facts. It's so mad you. Hey, listen. Just kidding. Hey, y'all like ass? We like booty. What? Pirates. No, still didn't get it. Pirates, booty. That's like the things they loot. Mm, so when pirates steal that. treasure, they call that booty. All right, booty. You've never heard this before? No. Nerd. Pause, so you don't know about it, but it's a real thing. Okay. Yeah. Nerd, why would I know that? Yo, you don't play the video games. <laughs> no, I don't. No, definitely not. Uh, you know, I like shooters and I like races. Where do you think the word booty came from? Possible. I believe you. Like, I'm all right. That's my job here uh, on this channel. It's it's for to make you. me look sus. Yeah, it's the question. But it's I'm not. Right. It's for me to question you. Booty pirate. Okay, we believe you. Let's move on. Okay. <laughs> you did that to yourself. Booty is treasure, money, jewels, and like obtained by criminal means, especially plundering, plundering cool, and cool. poaching. Cool. Right. Cool. <laughs> if you're in the Caribbean on vacation, you could spend some time looking for pirate booty. I still say that. <laughs> Why, why do I have to do me like that? It's funny how I'm we're glad both he right. said Caribbean. Cause I, I was I had a back and forth with someone and they say Caribbean and they're like, Why do y'all Americans say Caribbean? And I'm like, They're in Canada and they also say Caribbean. But I know some people say Caribbean. But I feel more wrong. Booty. Booty. Um, let me get some yeah, booty. Let, let, let me get some booty. Oh gosh, let me play the games. Yeah, for real. If you don't like it, just don't play. You don't want to do. I didn't like the crime aspect. You're gonna. That was a good point. Shit, the thing is called a fucking crime. And also, it's like you guys make all the wildest jokes in the world. You love doing it. I don't mind it. I support it. Even though I think you guys are weirdos, I don't think it's a bad thing that you like making funny jokes at the expense of whatever group. Are you guys now advocating for violence or issues? Are you guys now indoctrinating people against these people? I don't think you take that stance. So I don't know why you're doing it with video games specifically. Just I, first. I remember there was an uproar back in the day when they did that. They did that. Uh, that was one that was like kind of in Florida or something like that. And it was uh, Lil Haiti. Yeah. And, You're talking about Vice City? Yeah. And then there was one yeah. mission. That's my favorite one. There's one, there's one mission that they removed. It was called Kill the Haitians. Facts. Oh. And they removed it because it was like an uproar. Like, you can't say that, this and that. People got mad. I get it. Yeah, that's Me, I was nice. like. You kill a bunch of you, you kill a bunch of Russians and that's fine. You kill a bunch of Serbians, that's fine. But that's that's fine. Everything is all right. Everything is all good. But then you, I understood why people got mad. I was not one of these people. I think all this controversy, for like all the pearl clutching from conservatives on this issue, is hilarious to me. All it's gonna do is make the video game more popular. Even now they got me talking about it, and I don't really talk about video games on this channel. It's the same thing that happened. So I'm probably gonna play it. 
and all this stuff serves to market this game. Every time this game comes out, there's always a lot of pearl clutching about some aspect of it. And guess what? The game just continues to grow with popularity. So y'all can keep whining and keep crying. Yeah, the game will be more popular, and it looks amazing. Quite frankly, even I want to play it. And I'm not the, the biggest Grand Theft Auto person. I got so. a PS5 home. You can buy, buy and play it. I don't have a PC. Why would I play it on a console? Fair. Always. Oh, PC Master Race. Fair. That's it. Fair. That's how we do the games. That's, a, that's actually the first time I played GTA was on a PC. Yeah. Um, it's the same thing that happened with Hogwarts. Y'all spoke about it, you were pissed off about it, True. and then what happened? <laughs> Bloodbuster. Yes. Like, what do you want? Like, you're doing the same thing over and over. It's like, like you motherfuckers never learn. But it's okay. It's just, people need to complain, and that's fine. It's just, I think PC, the, I think the game is going to do fine, and it's going to last another 15 years before they're going to the one. Absolutely. I agree. 150%. Anything else you want to say? Nah. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Hmm, because I was talking about this on my Patreon that, you know, I'm going to play when it comes out, even though it's 2025. I'm hoping it's early 2025, so that way it'll only feel like about a year if it comes out like in January or something. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm going to have it uh, be a Patreon ex exclusive and only upload the videos over there or if I will upload them on YouTube. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, I would have to figure out if I want to get a PC set up. Or just buy a PS5 and figure out how to transfer the files over here on my laptop. I'm not sure yet, but I got time to figure that out. Anyway, um, I agree. I just feel like this is such an outdated, tired uh, critique. That, oh, this is terrible for the children. And, no, oh, this makes people want to shoot cops. I have never had an urge to shoot an officer. <laughs> and I shot many police officers on GTA. I've never had um, an urge to kill hookers or run over people with my car. That's a lie, to be honest. I have, <laughs> I, <do. laughs> I don't say it's an urge, but sometimes, you know, when I'm sitting at a light and people are crossing, sometimes I'm just like, what would happen if I just, you know, <laughs> hit the gas? ran over all these people right now but i i doubt that grand theft auto has anything to do with that that uh that thought i just think you know people have crazy thoughts sometimes and um and that's one of mine but anyway um the point is a lot of things that i've done in the game i've never like fantasized about doing in real life i just think that's just such a weird uh claim and like abba said i don't think there is much uh evidence or research to even back that up um, if your child is a school shooter, do you can't blame the video games. Blame your parenting. And your child is just weird. Maybe something's off with them mentally. I don't think Grand Theft Auto is to blame. That's just my opinion, though. But whatever. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye!